Hello. Two days ago, I received a question about how to send one email for multiple items from the list. As much as it sounds a very simple question, it is not that simple and straightforward. Let's look into that. This video is the answer to the question from one of my students. As much as it may sound very easy to work with, it's not as simple. Let me show you what we are going to do. I have a list inside SharePoint or anywhere else. I get the items using get list items. Now, the thing is, I want to package the result that I receive from this query in one email and send it to someone. It sounds very easy, but really it is not. Let's see the challenges we will face when we try to do this. So let's get back to flow and try to query it. I go to flow.microsoft.com and I click on create. I want to create an instant flow and I do it manually and I call it send list items by email. I click on create and there is a button created. I add a new step and I want to get the items from SharePoint. So SharePoint, I get SharePoint and I'm looking for get list items or get items. I pick up the list from the SharePoint. It's gonna be flow course. The list that I want to work with is products. So there we go. This is the products list. I go back here and I save it. I don't want to put any filter. Now, if I just run this, it will return everything. Now, if I want to send email that contains any one of those, let me add a new step here and I call it send email. You're using Office 365 and I want to send email and I want to send it to myself user email, subject is going to be products list. But here is the thing. If I just come to the body and I go under the get items and I select, for example, title, immediately it puts this message inside and apply to each loop and sends one email per item. I don't want to do that. I want to get the list titles one by one, put all of them together in a nice and clean message, and then send it. This flow at the moment sends me one email per every single item that I have here. If the problem is clear, let's see how we can handle that. Obviously, this email shouldn't be inside the loop, so I just get rid of it. Delete, and we're good. The message body that should go to someone, I'd rather put it in a variable. So right in the beginning, as soon as the button is pressed, I add an action and I create a variable. And if I scroll down, I will find initialize variable. The variable name is going to be list items. Type is going to be string and the value, it can be blank. I don't want to put anything here. Uh, the only thing, let me remove the space, it's going to be easier to handle. Control C, copy, and I just rename it. It's going to be initialize list items. So far, so good, I just save it. Next thing that I want to do, now when I'm inside this apply to each that gets the items from get item, I want to Add every title to this variable. Add an action. And if I go to variables, under variables, one of the actions that I have is append to a string variable. You have to use it because if you just use the set variable, you need to make a reference to set the variable its own previous value. As much as we love to see it in different programming languages and it works perfectly in almost every programming language, it doesn't work in flow. So we say append to string variable and this append to string variable is happening inside the loop. So for every single item that we add, I 
pick the variable that I have, which is list items, and the value that I want to append is going to be item title. Let me find title here. Title. And right at the end of every item, I want to say br slash. So basically a new line and I save it. Now when I want to send the email, I say new step, email. I need to use Outlook 365, send an email. I want to send the email to the person who is running this flow. Subject is going to be products in the list. And now here, I insert the variable, which is list items. That's it. If I see the advanced options, there is not much to say. The only thing that you should keep in mind is that by default, this email is HTML. So let me just save it and test this flow and see what we get in the mailbox. Test. I'll run it myself. Save and test. Continue. Run flow. And done. So it gets all the items and sends the email. Here is our mailbox. As you can see, there is only one email here. And if I click on it, you see the list of all the products that I had in the list. Simply, I send one email for all the items inside SharePoint. It works easily. This is not probably the best way. There are better ways to do that. If I go here inside Flow, there is another way to do that. So instead of concatenating and going through the for each loop, we have another control that is called create HTML table that we have it here. It directly gets an array and converts it into HTML table, but I don't want to cover it here in this one. If you really want to see it, send me a comment in the comment section and I will show you how to use the create HTML table. At the moment, this is the easiest way to do that. So we read the titles one by one and concatenate it to a string variable. And finally, we send that string variable. All right. That was all about it. Very simple and straightforward. As always, thank you for watching.